Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews channel and today we're going to tackle the 2016 Hyundai Santa Fe. We want to see how hot the wires will get on the jumper cables. We have the mega jump starters, the Avapow 6000 Peak Amp, the Hulkman 10.0, and the Gulu GT4000. These all have mega power. Uh, the Hulkman has a well, jump start gasoline engines up to 10 liter and diesel engines up to 10 liter. The Gulu GT4000 will jump start vehicles up to 12 liter, I believe, and 10 liter gasoline engine. Uh, 10 liter diesel engine and 12 liter gasoline engine. And the Avapal claims that it will jump start any vehicle with a gasoline engine. Any vehicle with a gasoline engine or a 10.0 diesel engine, I believe they say. Don't quote me, but I think I'm correct on that. And just keep in mind, uh, the last video I did, um, I mentioned that the Avapal wires got extremely hot when the Hulkman wires weren't that hot. Well, the Hulkman have uh, like six gauge wire, which I was unaware of. It's six gauge, it says it on there somewhere. Yeah, it's, uh, that's six gauge. And the Gulu GT4000 and the Avapal 6000 amp, they have, I believe it, it's it's eight gauge so they are a little bit thinner but they get the job done you know and just keep in mind the 6000 peak amps and the Hulkman 4000 peak amps and the uh, Gulu 4000 peak amps it's only the peak amp for like one second I mean uh, literally it gives a quick jolt of 6000 amps or 4000 amps like so they claim let me show you that there's no power in the battery we're gonna hook up the test light as usual. I'd like to show you proof. And we're just trying to get a good connection. There's not even a volt in here, I don't think. We might even have a hard time with the uh, jump starters uh, recognizing because the Avapow 6000 amp has no boost button, but it does know when to start vehicles and when not to. It knows when to deliver power and when not to. It's, it's very intelligent. Let's let's try the reverse polarity first. Okay. See how that works. Okay, and I don't see the red light on. Yeah, these are. Hang on a second. Bear with me here. It's the reverse. I don't see the reverse polarity light on on the module. Um, it came on the last time. I don't know if there's if I'm doing something wrong, or if the battery is that dead. But this is the reverse polarity. I just wanted to, it's supposed to uh, notify you with a little red light here, like I did the last time. It's not doing it right now. I might have a bad connection here. Might. Or the battery just might be super dead. But it's supposed to deliver power, you know. It knows when to deliver power and when not to, they say. So, okay. All right, let's see what happens here. Okay, now for some reason. There's a blue light that, so it's not ready yet. I don't know why. It's supposed to turn green. There's a green light. It's supposed to turn green. Okay, so let me just. No, it's not. Hmm. No. Huh. I don't know why. I'm, I'm really getting a good connection. I'm trying to. It's weird. Is that dead or what? Okay, let's take the other power off for right now because it's having a little difficulty, you know, for whatever reason. Okay, let's try the Gulu GT4000. Okay, now we're going to do the reverse polarity. You know, like I said before, these are the cables, the real thick cables in the middle there. They're not the alligator style, but these might not be ideal uh, for the hard to reach batteries because the top is so fat, you know, it might not reach. But Nevertheless, they still work. Okay. Okay, let's uh, let's turn this guy on. See what happens. It's on. Where's it? Okay. Everything. Let's try to try to see what we have here. Give me a second, guys. Yeah, the reverse polarity. I don't know. Let's just do the the normal way. For some reason, the reverse polarity is not working on any of the units for some reason. I don't know why. It's probably me. I'm probably doing something wrong. Okay. Obviously it's not sensing there's a battery because it's totally dead. Okay. Okay. 
I just heard everything click on. It says ready. Let's give it a whirl. Let's see, is there? A, do I have the key in the ignition here? I think I do. Okay, let's see what happens. Car started up on the first shot. Keep in mind, this car hasn't been started in a long time. Okay. The car's on. It's at 74 percent. Came cold and lukewarm. It's not even not even really warm. Okay, the car conked out again like it did the last time because I think there's an alternator issue. Let's do it again. Okay, everything just clicked on again. I just want to give it another start just to see. I hear the ignition. All right. Car started up again on the first shot. That's the Gulu GT4000. Okay, wires are still cold to lukewarm. Now let me Okay, I just, uh, okay, the car actually stayed on with the cables off. All right, let's let's shut the car off now. Okay, that was the GT4000, guys. All right, and like I said, the cables, the eight gauge cables on the Gulu, did not get warm. I mean, got got very like slightly warm, I should say, slightly. It's a little step up from cold. So that's. So that's 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 awesome. But this has 66%. This will shut off automatically. Okay. We'll do the Avapal last. Just to okay, the Hulkman. Let's do the Hulkman. Yeah, the Hulkman. Okay, that one works. The reverse polarity. It's beeping, letting you know that they're incorrect. Now let's switch it around. Okay. Oops. Okay. Boom. And boom. Okay. Okay, and obviously it's not sensing there's a battery because the battery is super dead. Okay, well, let's hit the two buttons up here simultaneously. It's the boost button. Did it come on? Yes, it says ready. See it? Ready. Let's give it a whirl. This is the Hulkman 10.0 or 100 Alpha. Okay, got this guy here. Car started up on the first shot like it always does. Okay, car is on. 81, feel the wires. They're cold. Very cold. Yeah, I just wanted to test up. The car conked out again. Let's give it another boost since it's not recognizing there's a battery. I heard everything come back on. It says ready again. Alright, see what happens? Car started right up on the first shot again with the Hulkman 10.0. Now at 75%. Wires are still cold. Okay. Oops. Oh, car conked right out again. So like I said, I believe this car has a has an alternator problem now. Unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna shut that off since I don't believe that I don't think the Hulkman 10.0 goes off automatically. I mean, not that I know. Now for shits and giggles, let's just see if there's any power in the battery after the two jump starters. No, nothing. Still, yeah, this battery is... The alternator obviously is, is probably shot too, but there's nothing. Not even... Not even a volt. <laughs> now let's try the Avapal again. Yeah, that one kind of surprised me before how it didn't even, you know, it wouldn't even come on. Okay, see? Weird. Huh. It's not even, it's not even coming on. It's got to be a bad something. So, okay. Make sure everything is good. Okay. We got that there. Yeah, it's just not getting blue for some reason. No, it's not turning green, I should say. Yeah, no. Still blue. It's on. It's at about 80%, but it was fully charged before when I did it. Let me pull out the module halfway and turn it back in. Okay. okay it's off. The module's off. There's nothing on it. Yeah, I mean, I might have... Okay, see what happens. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, this worked. The last test I did with the um, 
with the Abapow 6000 peak amp. It worked perfectly in this car. In this car, it worked perfectly. So, yeah, it's just not. There's still a blue light there. It's, it's supposed to turn green. And there is no boost button on here, but it's supposed to deliver power. It knows when to deliver power and when not to. So, I do not hear a chime. I got the key in the ignition. It's not working. Yeah, I'm just curious why the Abapow crapped out. Huh, it's kind of weird. Oh wait, now it's green. Now it's green. See it? There was a bad connection, I think. Okay, it's green. I hear the clicking. Yeah, there must have been a bad connection somewhere. Okay. I like to give them fair chances, you know? Okay. Alright. Started, started right up on the first shot. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of curious about that, because this is a good unit as well. Okay. See the green light. Okay, the wires. Ah, uh, they're a little warm. They are warm. So okay, you hear the clicking. Okay, let's take this off. And we're gonna do it again. Actually, if I wanna hang up, I just wanna take the cables off real quick. Okay. Actually, let's do the uh, reverse polarity now. Maybe it'll work now. For some reason, it didn't wanna work before. Okay, yeah. Must have been a bad connection. See the red light on on the bottom? That's, that's RC, reverse connection. So it tells you that your cables are on wrong. Yeah, so before, with the other um, like units, I had them on wrong. Or I just had a bad connection, whatever it was. So let's hook this back up. Okay, green, see it? See the green light right there? All right, the module's clicking, we hear it. Let's give it another start. <laughs> okay, all right. Started right up on the first shot as well. So all three units, I've started the car up the first shot every time. Okay, yeah, it's a little warm, the wires, a little warm. Okay, see the green light, and the flashlight's on right now. I'll shut it off in just a minute. Okay, I'm gonna shut this off. Okay, this is the Abapow. Let me shut this guy off. Okay, that came off, perfect. And this also has a nice little handle to it, which is cool. So let's see what the voltage is now since the car is starting and the alternator is working at the moment. So, let's see what we got. I'm going to put the test light on, once again. And it's showing we have about 13.9 volts. That's... Oh, where are we? I know we have voltage because the car is on. There it is. 13.9 we had, 14.0. That's with the alternator running the car right now. Now when you shut it off the car and do that test again, it'll probably be nothing. Watch. Obviously you see the dashboard's on. And this has 124,000, so. Okay, shut the car off and immediately you hear no jingling, no nothing. Now let's Test her again. Boom. Put the light back on. This light back here. And do we have anything? Yeah, I'm trying to scrape. Scrape just to give it a fair. There's no nothing in here. Nothing. Nothing at all. I mean, I'm going to try to charge the car later. Yeah, I mean, all three of these units are beasts of units. They're great to have. And these are all the most powerful ones on the market today. I'm sure there's more powerful ones, but I just don't have them at the moment. You know. But yeah, the Gulu GT4000, I believe, has a 99.2 watt-hour battery, 4,000 peak amps. The Hawkman 10.0, I believe, was it 100 and something? Where's it? Give me a sec, please. Uh, yeah, it's got 118 peak. Uh, it's got 118 watt-hour battery with, uh, I believe, it's 32,000 milliamp hour and 4,000, you know, amps peak. And then um, the Avapow 6000 amp, it does not tell you what the watt hour battery is, I don't believe. But this is supposed to have 6000 peak amps. This is supposed to start any gasoline vehicle that's on the road today. You heard that. Any gasoline engine on the road today. And I think it's up to 10 liter diesel engine. This has a nice torch light with three different settings. The SOS, the um, uh, blinks and the standard torch. The Gulu has a couple different settings of light as well. The SOS 
you know, the strobe and the torch. And uh, yeah, this also is a turbo series charger. It's got a 100 watt charger, but it's only a car charger. It comes with a car charger only. It does not come with a wall plug for whatever reason, but this will uh, charge, like, of course, in your vehicle very quick since it's 100 watt. And it'll probably go over 100 watt if the car is running. And then, uh, where does the, uh, hang on a second, where does, yeah, it's got 4,000 peak amp on this one. Like I said before, the starting current is 800 amps for three seconds. The peak current, like I said, is 4,000 amp. That's for like a split second. Yeah, so there's all the specs right there. This is the Gulu. The Gulu GT4000. Sorry about the noise in the background. There's a lot of cars passing me by. So that's about it, man. I mean, not too much more. I mean, beautiful New Jersey skies in the summertime. It's about the only time anybody ever comes here is in the summertime. It's a hot spot. The Jersey Shore is the hot spot in the summer, and then after that, no one comes here. It's a ghost town. Guys, we will see you on the next video. I'm Michael. This is the H&M Reviews Channel. Peace out.